Today we're going to melt a radiator from a truck. We're also going to share a few tips and things to get the most out of your scrap aluminum. I've already cut the radiator up a little bit, but this is where you can save some aluminum. You can see that as I cut, little parts and chips and stuff of aluminum are falling to the ground. I tried to scoop up as much as I could, but it was in the dirt and it was a little bit hard to get all of it. So that would be tip number one. Find a way to collect the aluminum that falls off as you're cutting, sanding, or anything like that. It may not seem like much at first, but it does add up. Now that it's all cut up, we're going to start putting these pieces into the foundry. Once you've melted your aluminum, the next step is to pour it into ingots or your mold or whatever you're doing. So first we need to get rid of the slag or the dross. I pulled it out so you can see. If you look there, there are some nuggets. And I guess that's the best way to say it. But little clumps. Um, we don't really want that because that does hold some aluminum in it. So here in a little bit later, you'll see what we can do to fix that and get rid of those clumps and make sure that we can get the most out of our aluminum and aren't wasting what we've melted. A radiator has a lot of surface area. And that's part of its purpose. But when melting metal, that you don't want that. That will cause your metal to oxidize and you won't have as much. So, I try not to pour all of it or melt something a little bit thicker with less surface area at first so that when you put in your scraps you are reducing the surface area that is touching oxygen. So we leave a little bit of liquid there in the bottom. It just helps the melt and reduces the oxidation that happens on your aluminum. Good thing there was a lot of aluminum in this radiator. Gives me lots of stuff to work with. So this is where I was talking about the slag or dross. We're gonna put some table salt in and this is used as a flux. It helps thin out the aluminum a little bit and so it doesn't stick to the waste that we want to get rid of. So if you look here, here's a lot of something that was burnt, scraps, whatever, but there's not very much aluminum in it. It's pretty black and dark. So we know that we're getting a good quality aluminum and we're not wasting very much. It's easier to pour if you get rid of all that junk there on the top, but my tongs weren't doing a very good job. I need to do something to figure out that and make it better. Here's some nice shiny aluminum. It's been purified, recycled, whatever you want to call it. But listen to that sound. That's one of my favorite parts. This is all the scrap that we pulled off. Still hot. But this is what we were after. Nice aluminum ingots. And quite a bit of them.